Hi, welcome back to this series in how to search Google. So we've looked at a couple of different um, ways of just doing some simple searches and we searched the Cross Gates and District Good Neighbours website. So how do we search Google for other things? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing this. If you know the website because you've seen it on television and it might come up to say um, www. Um, this morning, say, the TV programme. So it, you might see that on television and you can come on and type it. But quite often, you don't always need to put the www dot on that, that, you, that you see. Google's pretty good to know what you mean, even if you don't type that in. So if I just start typing this morning, it's going to come up British television programme and know what I'm looking for. Um, and again, look at the boxes. We don't want that top bit. That's just about the show. Keep going down, looking at those boxes. We're looking for the website. That's what we're looking for, which is right down here. ITV This Morning Hub. So it's right down there in this occasion. If we tap at the top here, we're not going to get into the actual website. This is just an overview. Um, I mean, you could tap on reviews, watch the show live, trailers, but just look for the actual website by scrolling down there. Um, so, yeah, so that's one way of doing it. It's just to be aware, you don't always have to put in www.thismorning.org.uk, the really long title. You can shorten it and Google usually knows what you mean. So I'm just going to tap the home key again to open up a new page. Um, back into Google. So I might this time want to um, do some research. So instead of a website, so if I tap on the box and just start typing, say I want to know more about the history of Leeds. So I'll just, I don't have to put what, uh, you know, what is the history of Leeds. I can be quite simple in my search terms. So I can just put history of leads and this is where your typing practice is going to come in and you can see it's come up underneath history of leads a little magnifying glass so if i tap on there um the search it's going to bring me up lots of pages again so again depending on what you are interested in you would have a look at what google's brought up and then tap and go and read a little bit more so the first place that we could start is Wikipedia, which is an online encyclopedia. So if I was to tap on the blue writing history of Leeds, Wikipedia will open up and it will give me lots of information um, about Leeds. That's always quite a good website if you're searching or starting off searching history. Um, if you do start reading Wikipedia, Probably the only thing you need to remember, which is what I've said in previous searches, anything in a different colour means you can tap on it and go find out more. Um, but you, you, that means you're breaking off mid-paragraph. So if you're reading this and you thought, actually, I want to find out more about the Norman Conquest of England, if I tap on that, it's taken me to that website. Um, so that's fine. That's what we've asked it to do. We can go and read that, um, find out more, and then we might want to get back to the page we were looking at on the history of Leeds. So um, have a think about how you would do that. Um, I see. If, I don't know. See if you can remember. Um, but it, what you would do is, if you you might have already guessed is you would just press the back button at the top there and that's just going to take us back to the page that we were on. So it's only going to go back one page, <coughs> back to the history of Leeds. If I tap it again, it's taken us back to our Google search. Say if I've got back here and I thought, actually, no, I've tapped it too much and I still want to be on Wikipedia, if you just look at the top here, 
as well as a back button, we've got a forward button. So if I tap on that, it's going to take us back to onto the page of History of Leeds. Um, so again, that's just something else to practice. If I tap that again, it's going to take us to the Norman Conquest. I press back, we're back to the History of Leeds. Press again, we're back to the page of Google. So have a go, have a practice and just practice tapping those buttons um, to move backwards and forwards between your pages. Um, and that will help you if you get lost. Um, now, when you're scrolling down on Wikipedia, it's always better to scroll on the edge of any website. And the reason I always say this is if I scroll down in the middle here, you might be able to see my white dot ever so slightly. If I start scrolling and accidentally, as I scroll, put my finger, say on the word Greek, but meaning to scroll, you can see what's happened. It's taken me to the Greek page because I put my finger down on the blue writing, which was a link instead, and then pushed up to scroll. But that tap, um, the tablet thought I was tapping it to go onto this page. Um, so to get back, I'll use my back button. But yeah, just bear that in mind when you're scrolling to try and scroll up or down in a blank space like here. Just makes it easier. You can probably see my white dot moving up and down on the side. So I'm avoiding any text or photos. So we'll just go back to the Google search. We've done the Wikipedia history of Leeds. Again, like before, we've got questions here that you can explore and use the arrow, which I've already shown you. We can keep going down. That's Wikipedia again. Now we've got a listing for the Britannia Encyclopedia, Leeds Population, Map and Facts. So we might want to look at that one. We could tap on that blue writing. The next one down, the localhistories.org.uk. Um, 60 things you didn't know about Leeds um, is the next one down. But we'll tap on local histories, open that one up. And this, um, this is a brief history of Leeds in Yorkshire. To be honest, I've opened this website and you can see it doesn't look like a very good professional website um, compared to the last ones that we've looked at. This is one that's just somebody's made. So I would probably assume there's going to be adverts on here. Um, it just doesn't look a very good website. And this thing here is an advert saying you have one unread message. What that's trying to do is get you to tap on that and go somewhere um, which you won't want to go. It will be some advert or some competition that you want to avoid tapping on. Um, but you can see how prominent they've put that to try and get you to tap on it because it, you're going to think, oh, I've got a message somewhere. Um, so yeah, that, that does not look like a good website that we want to be exploring. There's no menu bar at the top. It doesn't look nice. So let's come out of that with the back button. And instead, we'll go into the Britann Leeds Britannia in uh, one instead. And you'll see the difference on this one. You can see straight away, it looks like um, the previous website. We've got a bar at the top here, a menu bar, and it looks a lot more professional. There's no adverts going on. Okay, so let's, um, oh, here we go. As I said before, I might have said it quite a few times. If not, if ever this pops up about accepting cookies, we, we always have to press it to accept cookies on websites. Very difficult to use a website if you don't accept their cookies and privacy policy because um, that box won't go away. It will only ask you once on the website. Um, it will ask you. It will only ask you once on the same website, but every website you go to, it usually asks you to accept cookies. The other thing to draw your attention to here, down at the bottom here, you can see an advert. 
So this website shows adverts um, to people and it gets paid for showing you an advert. Um, that's how it just makes a little bit of money um, by doing that. So the best thing to do is to ignore, ignore the advert. But this is where I always say to be careful about scrolling. Because if I was to scroll and put my finger right down here and accidentally catch this advert, it's going to take me to where that advert is. So let me show you that as an example. I'm going to put my finger here, accidentally tap on it, and it's opened up onto savemoneymarket.co.uk equity release. So it's taken me out of where I was and sent me to this advert because I've accidentally clicked on it. So the way to get back, if you can see what's happened at the top here, we've now got two tabs open. These are two tabs, two pages that are open on Google. Um, so what I can do very easily, I can just close this tab by pressing that cross there. And if I just, because I don't want this page, I can just tap it and close it. And it takes me right back um, onto this page that we're on. And you can see very straight away, the adverts changed. We've got a Sky advert now. We can't get rid of them. We have to put up with them if we want to read this website. So we're gonna scroll away from the advert and just read it um, and just ignore that it's there. But that's just quite a good example. And, and depending on the website, some will have way more adverts than others. If you find the adverts annoying, just find another website to look at. So we'll hit the home key, go back, back to the beginning, and that's another search that you can have a look at.